Hello again everybody, this is Rob for GearWire.com and we are going to take a quick look at the start menu options in the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. If you are interested in checking out Reaper, go ahead and click on reaper.fm or uh, kakos.org, that's C-O-C-K-O-S dot org. Um, Reaper has some interesting startup options and one of them, uh, well all of them are actually available in the uh, start menu under Windows XP or Vista. So uh, we've got uh, up, uh, uh, we're running XP right now, so let's go to the start uh, button, go ahead, select all programs, and then zip over, uh, zip over to Reaper. And what we see here are a series of options. We did a, a video not too long ago on this option. This is where you can use Reaper to um, uh, install itself onto a USB key or removable media. You can check your wire for that video. You can also launch Reaper as a remote as a remote slave. Now, remote is a technology that allows Reaper to be used as a processor, a dedicated processor for effects, but not on the same machine that a, a instance of Reaper running as a recorder is running on. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. What this means is is that there is a master mode and a slave mode. Here's a remote slave. Um, Excuse me. Uh, sorry. There, meaning that there's a master and a slave for the uh, remote feature. Uh, a slave is merely a machine that is running Reaper in a remote slave mode uh, using this uh, function. And that machine, if connected to a network, on to, uh, to another machine that is actually uh, where is the machine that you've got your project running on, um, that machine running as a remote slave can process effects in real time. Uh, and do that processing away from the CPU that is actually handling the mixing and the streaming of the audio, uh, etc. So it's a way of getting more plugins into your session without having to uh, crush your CPU or your RAM or your resources on your single machine. It's a way to employ multiple machines to help with your uh, session as you go along. Other startup functions for Reaper include uh, just regular plain old vanilla launching Reaper. Then there's Reaper to create a new project. Uh, in other words, uh, you launch Reaper and it creates a new project uh, uh, when you launch. Uh, there is Reaper to, uh, there is this uh, option to reset the configuration to factory defaults, which is nice to have uh, when you are in a situation where you want to start over with your configuration. Uh, there's also rewire slave mode. Now, uh, slave mode is, uh, this is different from remote slave mode. Uh, a rewire slave is a machine that is uh, controlled from remote uh, using the uh, rewire protocol for exchanging audio data and exchanging MIDI data in real time. And we get into uh, this feature uh, quite a bit in uh, future video screencasts here at GearWare on the Reaper program. You can also launch Reaper to show the audio configuration at startup. And then of course there's the license, the what's new, and you can uninstall Reaper from the start menu. So that is the Reaper start options. And this has been a GearWire video. Thanks for watching and keep it on GearWire.